so uh, thank you very much for your uh, kind introduction. Uh, first of all, uh, I'd like to thank the uh, organizers for inviting me uh, this special event. So I really feel uh, honored, uh, or rather feel uh, strong pressure to give a presentation in front of the uh, expert of science communication. Indeed, the, uh, I'm a simply uh, researcher of materials scientist and not the expert of science communication. And I'm wondering why I was invited to this special event. <laughs> Perhaps I guess uh, I was uh, invited by uh, American Association of uh, Advancement of uh, uh, Science, Triple uh, S, this, this uh, February uh, to give a presentation both at technical session and also press briefing. And some organizers expect me to share that experiences here. And uh, also, when I, uh, I accepted the invitation from the organizer, I thought there is a uh, well language translation. So, and then I'm I thought I'm allowed to speak in Japanese, <laughs> but eventually I realized I was requested to give a presentation in English, which makes me, you know, this work much more difficult. But in any cases, uh, at the first part of my talk, uh, I will. Uh, uh, I will talk about the, uh, my own research and what I presented at AAAS uh, technical session and also press briefing, slight emphasis my intention. And then uh, the second half of my presentation, uh, I will share my experiences in the past 15 years to make the uh, uh, 20 uh, press conferences to describe our development to the publics. So let me start showing the video that I presented at Triple S. That may take 90 minutes. So just one day before I start traveling to the Austin, so uh, I was uh, asked by president to share this information with the board of uh, directors of our university. Uh, that means the, our president of our university is strongly encouraging science and communication, which makes me very happy. And then I begin uh, with showing the, uh, this kind of background information, although this kind of information is not usually included in my presentation slide. And rather, I start showing the equation, and that looks boring to the uh, general public. But of course, the, uh, the arrival of super aged society in Japan is getting more and more important. Indeed, the government has a lot of program to solve the serious issues associated with super aged society. So this slide uh, is nothing special, but of course I'm not expert of aging societies, and uh, so to make the uh, all the uh, appropriate the information, I closely work with the expert 
of the uh, aging society who affiliate with my uh, institution and to make sure the, all the information is correct. So such kind of uh, uh, interaction with other research field is always happy thing to me. And uh, that is automatically including to make this kind of presentation slide. And second slide uh, is one uh, also important to connect the my own research and also uh, background information like super aged society in Japan. In this slide, I try to emphasize how important so accessibility to the information. Indeed, how wonderful it would be when the biometric information can be read anywhere, anytime, easily, accurately. So, however, uh, current wearable tech cannot solve such kind of uh, uh, stuff. And then uh, I introduced the uh, uh, skin uh, electronics as the next generation of uh, wearable or technology. And you can see uh, there are different types of uh, uh, electronic functions. And uh, that means the uh, many, many research groups are competing each other. So such kind of uh, competition makes the uh, uh, lot of interesting uh, story. And now uh, we reach to the introduction of skin uh, display. This was a new development. And uh, of course, uh, it is important to explain how we can make that and what's the uh, basic performance. But more importantly, uh, we need to show the uniqueness of skin displays only by using one photo. So uh, actually, this photo uh, was uh, taken by professional uh, photographer. But to take this kind of a good photo, the photographer also uh, have to understand the importance of this kind of uh, development. And then we spent the uh, uh, almost half day to explain what I try to try to express just by using one photo. And then I will move on to the uh, uh, next topics which means uh, sensors. So sensors and displays are complementary uh, electronic functions. And then this is also a very important development that I, um, well, the technical details has been published in Nature Nanotechnology in the last year. So uh, this development was uh, also featured by uh, New York Times and other uh, news media. So you can see the uh, electrode is nicely uh, adhered on the complicated structure of skin. And it is ultra thin, lightweight, and uh, there is no sense of fit. So I always try to take a photo, either by myself or a professional photographers, to show to, for, well, for the audience, understand the uh, distinctive feature of our development instantly. Uh, by the way, my uh, hobby is taking a photograph. And uh, I'm really proud uh, some of my photo uh, was featured by Time Magazine or other news media. But this is uh, taken by professional photographer. <laughs> well, perhaps I don't need to explain the science behind this. So the technique, what well, detail is always important to share the excitement with public. As you can see, uh, so you can see the uh, silver thin film is nicely adhered to the complicated structure of fingertip. And also we magnified this image we can see the sweat pore. And here you can see the sweat on uh, here. And same amount of sweat can be observed even on the surface of gold. So if gold uh, is uniform film, we don't see this kind of uh, penetration of sweat. 
And if we magnify the image of uh, uh, SEM by SEM, even edge of sweat pore can be nicely covered by uh, nano mesh. So this kind of detail uh, gives the audience with very, very strong impression. And then uh, I, I will descri uh, I describe the futuristic uh, story. And then uh, describe the um, application in addition to the uh, medical, healthcare, fashion, sports. So this kind of uh, illustration is always important to inspire the audience. So without those uh, illustration, just the text like fashion, sports, uh, industry cannot uh, trigger the uh, uh, extensive discussion among the publics. And then, uh, well, I try to explain the, what's the difference between the smartphone and the skin electronics. And I said the, just touching the uh, baby's forehead by mother can convey the mother's caring. And then I thought this kind of skin electronics can give you the similar principle. So now uh, I'd like to spend the uh, three or four minutes uh, regarding my past experiences of uh, interacting with publics and the news people. So past, uh, first press briefing uh, in my group were made in 2003. At that time, so we uh, published our paper in AAAS Premier Conference, followed by the publication Proceedings of National Academy of Science twice. And all of those publications were uh, included in press tip uh, of publishers. For that reason, uh, uh, our development was featured by uh, many, many news articles, including Time Magazine. And at that time, my motivation uh, was to maybe share the excitement uh, with news people or publics. So wow, we did. So I really want to share what we did and what we made. In such a case, the using our own word uh, may be very important to directly trans uh, share that excitement. And uh, press conference was really successful, and that was featured by Time Magazine, Washington Post, BBC. Uh, that means uh, our research uh, has been directly connected to the global audience from the beginning. That was very exciting thing to me, but simultaneously, because outcome was much, much larger than ex I expected, I start feel a, a little bit anxious, so what I did promise with public. And then, uh, after I spent the, uh, uh, I, I started the national project like uh, ERATO, the accountability to taxpayer uh, becomes very important. Taxpayer means, of course, many Japanese people. So the communication in Japanese uh, might be very important. So at that time, we made the uh, mini press conference and exhibit to the uh, presenting our latest prototype in the exhibit and outreach activities and the publishing news uh, letters and organize a conference, and uh, so many uh, efforts have been made. But finally, uh, I'd like to uh, mention why I believe the communication in English is getting more and more important. Because as I mentioned at the beginning, the, all the social problem have to be shared by global community. And then problem is getting more and more complicated, indeed, the Davos uh, 2018 were concluded uh, by the statement that uh, this should be a beginning of movement where we globalize compassion and ensure the world in which no one is left behind. And I talked about the, uh, uh, this kind of statement that Triple S, the skin electronics can improve the accessibility to information which is a key to building age-friendly communication and un enhancing diversity and inclusion. Indeed, I believe this kind of new technology have to contribute to solving those kind of big issues. 
and then communication in English is getting more and more important. So before concluding my talk, uh, I'd like to acknowledge the, my uh, group members and collaborators who participate in this uh, research. And in summary and conclusion, just I want to say two uh, things. The, from researcher standpoint, science communication are motivated by sharing excitement, accountability to taxpayer, and social implementation of new technology. And to overcome global issues, cooperation between researchers and public via science communication in English is getting more and more important. And then, accurate, modest, and uh, sin uh, accurate, uh, modest science communication is the key to establish a trust relationship between researchers and publics. So, uh, thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you, Takao.